Well, today I'm sharing a trick that I learned from a pro-level animation artist that'll make your DaVinci Resolve animations and motion graphics look more polished than ever. Here's the deal. Fusion does not have the same alignment tools that other softwares have. You know, like the uh, align left, align mid, align, uh, align right. But here's the twist. The animator that taught me this was a professional animator in After Effects, not even in DaVinci Resolve. But what's cool about this trick is that it applies in any software. And what's funny is that that professional animation artist still preferred this method over using the built-in tools. So for example, in DaVinci Resolve, I have this setup right here where it's just these two chunks of text, right? But they're misaligned. Uh, and you might be asking yourself, well, what's the trick to getting them aligned? And that trick is just to create a bright rectangular shape as a guide. Okay, follow me here. Let's say you want these two sentences or these two chunks of text to be aligned to the left right now you can see they are already technically aligned to the left uh, I'm gonna retype the subscribe here and you can see it's aligned to the left because it's moving from left to right but there's no way to left align both of these at the same time at least with built-in tools so check this out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another merge node right here I'm gonna take a background shape and I'm gonna use a bright color like I'm just gonna use bright red just like this right Come down to my mask, my rectangle mask, connect this to that background shape, scale this down right here. Now I want this subscribe chunk of text to be aligned to, to my channel. I want to my channel to stay where it is. So all I'm gonna do is zoom in here and move this up to the very edge of to my channel. And now if I come to the word subscribe here, all I have to do is just push that all the way up against the edge there. And that's it. Now, if you get rid of that rectangle, now these two are left aligned and I didn't use any tools or anything. So the animator that taught me this trick, uh, he says he pref still prefers to use this method over the built-in alignment tools, even though he's an After Effects user, just because it's simple, it's intuitive, it's fast, and you know that it's right every time. You're not messing around with any alignment boxes or anything like that. This pretty much applies to anything in Fusion. You can add it up however you want. So the next time you're battling with alignment or trying to get things just perfect in DaVinci Resolve, give this a try.